Ouais, c'est vrai. Yeah, what is it? Giovanni? Oh yeah, here's a place. I haven't met you before. Are you a family member of member of family? Is that right? Hell of a family to be born into or married into or both. You have an invitation with you? Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll have you in and just tell them and they just tell them you just tell them you lost it. I'm losing all the time. <sighs> Maria, Maria Rosalini. Yes, what is it? She'll be fine after I get a pot of coffee in her. Well, she did pretty much cause the last function to come to a screeching halt. That woman has the self-control of a pubescent chimpanzee. Come on, Maria. We're going home. You have invitation. Hmm. These have a wonderful time. Family events. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, honestly. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power clique. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything, because they might use it against you. The heart says no. But the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they probably do the same. Yeah, I guess I would. I don't even know who you are. I'm Chris Giovanni, by the way. Call me paranoid. But how do I know I can trust you? You go first. If it's anything like mine, I'll tell you what's bothering me. Really? In this family, that's... That kind of thing can get you excommunicated if you're not careful. Well, all right. You want to know what's on my mind? I'll tell you. I found out a few months ago. My mother had an affair before I was born. Turns out my father isn't a Giovanni at all. My real father is this writer named Michael Avalon. If anyone found out, well, I might never rise up in this family. Hey there, Adam Dunsert. I don't think we've met. You are? Victor, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, a lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Well, I know somebody at the company, and that's what they call insider trading. I could lose my job for that. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. 
You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. Most people here, they've got cash they don't know what to do with. And if one of us falls on hard times, don't you think, as family, they're obligated to help him out? Besides, I get the kiss tonight. Everyone will be investing with me. In fact, if I could ensure my place at the grown-ups table by, say, drawing some attention away from my financial shortcomings, I'd be guaranteed the kiss. Know any dirt about the others I could use? I can't pay you, but I got this watch and this ring. This won't be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged today. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I'd do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. I just met you. I like you, but I can't tell anyone. It's too personal. Sometimes you do things you regret. And if someone here found out, They'd use it to destroy my chances at the family ever letting me into their inner circle. You couldn't possibly understand. I did something because it made me feel alive. If you've never tasted it, you wouldn't understand. But a few months ago, I shared a hit with somebody I thought was clean. I tested positive last week. I won't have to worry about this disease if the family accepts me into the inner circle. I won't have to worry about a thing ever. I'm on a lot of politicians' Christmas card list, and this family knows I've swung a lot of votes for it, but... There are two people at this party I know they had their eye on for a long time. One's Chris, my cousin. The other's Adam, who made Bruno a huge amount of money on tech investments a few years back. With them out of the running, they choose me. I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power, and I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. Adam broke? A few years ago, they did an article on him in the business section. Hmm. Money's practically more important than God to this family. I'll make sure Uncle Bruno somehow overhears this. Take this. It's more than Adam's worth. And Cecilia had an affair? If Chris isn't really a Giovanni, it won't sit well at all with Bruno. So sorry, cousin. Here, these bills represent Chris's entire future. Spend them wisely. For your assistance, you can be certain that when I have my way, I'll bring you into the fold. If you wish. All I have to do is set the rumor mill in motion, and I'm as good as in. Excuse me. Sorry, you can't come in here right now. I told you that in confidence. Rest assured, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. They know I'm broke. I'm ruined. I might as well just go hang myself. 
Hi, I don't think we've met before. Nadia Milliner, it's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. I, um, I really can't say much about that. There's something I want to show you, but you absolutely can't tell anyone, even other people here, okay? Follow me. You know what they do in this room? Mm, I think we better go. It is pretty disturbing. But you've heard the rumors about the family, haven't you? This is an embalming room. Know what they do with the corpses? I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. Shh. They don't usually attack. Just don't provoke them.
Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. There is an alliance between your leader LaCroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. <laughs> <laughs>